In step four of exercise number nine, the following actions have to be implemented to define the finished machining of the prismatic part using the 2.5D milling and automatic feature recognition and machining modules. A profile strategy is used to perform finishing of the outside shape. Then, pocket recognition is used to automatically recognize pocket features and perform finishing of the walls and floors that exist in the enclosed pocket areas. First, you have to define a profile operation to perform finishing of the outside shape. In the Solid Cam Manager, right click the Operations header and choose Profile from the Add Milling Operations submenu. The Profile Operation dialog box is displayed. On the Geometry page, click the New button to define the machining geometry for the outside contour. In the SolidWorks graphics area, Pick on the bottom edge of the target model as shown. Select Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to confirm the chain selection. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection, and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. Switch to the Tool page, and click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. In the Part Tool table, select Tool Number 3, the 6mm end mill. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SolidWorks Graphics area, pick on the top face of the stock model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Profile Depth button and pick on the bottom edge of the target model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Switch to the Technology page to define the technological parameters of the profile machining. For this operation, the default settings are used. The tool will cut on the left side of the profile geometry at a constant depth. The Finish checkbox is enabled, and the number of passes is set at 1. Switch to the Link page to define the parameters of the tool approach and retreat relative to the machined profile. Under the Lead-In area, select Arc from the drop-down menu. This option enables the tool to approach the profile and retreat away with a tangential arc. Enter a radius value of 3 mm and leave the remaining default arc parameters. For Lead-Out, enable the Same as Lead-In checkbox. This option will set the Lead-Out parameters equal to the specified Lead-In parameters. At this point, the operation can be calculated, and the toolpath can be viewed on the model. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the profile operation to the cam tree and calculate the toolpath. Then, click the Simulate button. After the updated stock calculation has completed for the operation, click the Play button. The tool approaches, performs the 3 mm arc lead-in, followed by a finishing pass around the outside contour to remove the 0.24 mm allowance. The tool then performs the 3 mm arc lead-out, and the Solid Verify simulation comes to an end. Using the Exit button, close the Simulation Control Panel. Close the Profile Operation dialog box with the Exit button. 